So of all various types of software, music players are probably what I am pickiest about in terms of things like UI and features and behavior and customization, okay? I really, really care about music players and I have for so long been searching for a absolutely perfect music player. I think this is the one. I think this is genuinely the last music player I will ever use. Everything about the UI is completely customizable. Everything you see on screen, every single element, every single color, Everything is customizable and I am so happy I finally found this music player. So let me uh, actually give you a, a bit of context before we get into it here. So last November, I made a video talking about how I found this music player called Term Music, which at the time I was really hoping, I had, I had high hopes for it, okay? I was hoping it was gonna be the last music player and there were, you know, a few things wrong with it, but I was thinking like, this might really be the one. And I have two main requirements for a music player, okay? So it must be in the terminal, first of all, and it must have album art, um, which really, really narrows down the choices for music players. And I'm, I'm fully aware that, you know, those are kind of really specific requirements and there's just a handful of music players that are in the terminal and also have album art. But anyways, those are my two requirements. And then I had, you know, some other stuff on top that I prefer and it's not, you know, a hard requirement, but I prefer. Anyways, so term music really met a lot of what I was looking for, but it had a few key things wrong with it. The major issues being with the UI. Um, the UI was just not customizable really at all beyond, you know, some basic color options. It was not customizable um, in terms of the layout or anything like that. I actually ended up going into the source and just redoing the UI entirely until I got something I was remotely okay with, which um, unfortunately, you know, I mean, a lot of programs are like that where you're just not able to customize the UI, but uh, this music player, by contrast, everything can be customized. Um, but then the, the big issue with term music that I really ended up switching away from it for this issue was that the album art did not resize properly. So for example, um, since I'm using a tiling window manager, having dynamic resizing on the window is pretty important, right? Like if I'm, you know, go to this window, if I make it like full screen or something like that, right? Dynamic resizing of the album art and the other UI elements is pretty important, okay? And you can see with this one, it does take half a second to do, uh, which I really can't blame it for because it's using Uberzog to render in the album art. So I understand if it takes half a second, but the issue with term music was that the album art would start floating across the text, uh, which starts to be an issue. So that was that was a pretty big deal breaker. And I did try to go into the source and try to figure it out and fix it. And I really couldn't. And it just came down to like, all right, it's using Uberzug to sort of hack it in as an implementation. Like I'm using ST, which means there's no native Sixel support, which means the only option is essentially this, this program called Uberzug, which if you haven't seen it, Uberzug, uh, people use it to render images in the command line. Um, there's a few different versions of it. This is like the, the current version. But anyways, so that's that's Uberzug. That's what it's using to display album art with. I didn't think you could get better than that. And then I found this program. So let me actually walk you through what's, what's here, first of all. Um, we've got our top bar. We actually have mouse support in the program, which I don't really use too much, but I mean, there is mouse support if you want it. Um, you just have a few different, you know, tabs in the top bar. There's more available than the, just these. You have a directory browser. It's actually in the style of Ranger or LF. If you're familiar with like, you know, the, the tri-panel layout here, um, really nice directory browser. You can just tab through your tabs if you wanted to or tab backwards. Um, there's a search that works perfectly. If I just, you know, uh, search some song here, I could uh, just go ahead, add it to playlist. Um, and you know, then it would be at the bottom of my queue here. If I go to, down to the bottom of that, there it is. Or I could actually just press enter and just immediately start playing it. So good behavior there, uh, points for that. The album art uh, in terms of actually just rendering in is pretty much instant. Super easy to go forwards and backwards in your track. Um, it's MPD integrated. This is actually an MPD client. Um, so points for that as well, since I, it's not a hard requirement for me for it to be integrated with MPD, but I do prefer that. Um, and of course, every single other UI element Element is completely customizable in terms of like, you know, what columns are actually displayed in this queue here. I've got, you know, song and album, but you could add an artist or duration or whatever else. Um, the actual elements in this header bar, you get rid of the header bar. If you didn't want the header bar, you could get
get rid of the album art if you didn't want it. Every single thing is so customizable and it's completely easy to integrate with Pinewall. I just made a template for it. Super, super easy. Um, anyways, so let's actually look at the page for it. Uh, I think I already went over like the main features here, but um, yeah, I, I don't know. There's scripting support as well, but yeah, I pretty much went over the main features. Um, there's some example themes you could actually look at. So for example, this is the default theme out of the box, which honestly looks fine in my opinion. Um, I only, you know, customize it because I like customizing things so much and I also want like a perfect music player that just looks precisely as I want, which I I'm, I'm just so happy with it. It's actually perfect. Anyways, so yeah, this is what it looks like out of the box, but there's some other example themes as well. If you wanted like, I don't know, this is like more minimal. So, you know, just artist and title, I would assume. And then, you know, top bar, uh, progress bar, etc. And they give you the theme file for it. So you could go ahead and slap that on or take it and customize it more. There's also this, uh, other this Nord theme here, which actually kind of reminds me of Strawberry. If anybody's used the music player Strawberry, the layout kind of reminds me of it. I don't know. And of course the documentation is great as well. It completely tells you how to do absolutely everything, which of course, you know, you could use it without customizing it at all. Like you don't have to customize it, but um, it walks you through all of the customization. So if you're sort of wondering whether you would be able to figure it out, even if you're not, you know, super familiar with customizing this sort of stuff, it's, you could easily figure it out based on this documentation. It's really good documentation. Anyway, so let's actually look at the config file here. Um, it's just gonna go in config rmpc. Uh, it would normally be called config.ron here, but uh, I have .debug since I was building from source. So if you intend to build from source rather than just like installing a package, uh, .debug is the file name you'll want. Um, a lot of these options are self-explanatory. I don't really need to spend too much time. The keybinds of uh, Vim keybinds by default, um, pretty much everything that I just like expected to work would just work. Like if I just, you know, select some stuff here and I want to move it around here, it just works. Um, I didn't even need to change keybinds really. I don't think I changed any of these keybinds, but of course you could change them if you wanted to. Um, you can change what's actually searchable. So, uh, this, any tag search is probably what you just want to go with by default since it just, you know, will search through your whole library for anything. Um, but you could instead, you know, search for a specific title or a specific album or a specific artist, whatever. Um, and I think there's even more options here that you could add in if this wasn't enough searching for you. Um, and of course, you can completely change how the UI actually looks. So, for example, this line talking about the uh, size, this is just saying 65% uh, for the queue here and then 35% for the album art here, um, which of course you could rearrange, you could change how it looks. Um, you could do that for all the different uh, menus here or panes, I think it's called the tabs, whatever you want to call it. You can change the name on all of it. There's even more tabs that I actually commented out because I didn't want them. It's just perfect. And then of course you've got the pie wall theme here with the, you can of course customize all the different like symbols in the UI, um, every color on literally everything. Um, the default text, uh, the more more layout customization. This is just like, if you have wanted a music player that you can customize literally everything about and it's in the terminal, this is just your dream music player. Or at least this is my dream music player. I just, I have yet to find a single thing to complain about with this music player. I'm, I'm just, I'm just so happy. I finally found that this existed. Anyways, uh, that's about all for this video. I will see you next time. Peace.